Good evening and welcome everyone to the 2013 Portuguese Historical Center's Tuna Men's Memorial Ball. Tonight's honorees are very well deserving and have shaped not only our Portuguese community here in Point Loma, but the tuna fishing industry in San Diego and have shaped our city as we know it today. And now here are the honorees. Start off by thanking the Portuguese Historic Society for giving me a chance to, to avoid my opinion of, of the fishing industry and how, how I learned fishing and how I perfect certain things in the business and work. I worked in the tuna fishing business uh, from up somewhere around 35 to 40 years and uh, I enjoyed every bit of it. And when I first started fishing, my dad was a fisherman in the, in the tuna business. He had a vessel and we used to catch the fish with the poles one at a time, and we'd, and that was hard work. We'd, we'd go down the Galapagos Islands, go clear down there for a load, and we'd get a load, and then come all the way back home to offload. That so was a lot, a, a lot, a lot of distance for the amount of fish that we caught at that time on those vessels. Only carried 180 ton. About 1975, I was hired by Zapata Corporations uh, out of Texas to to help manage and run a fishing vessel, which they had just built at Campbell Shipyard. And it was a, a 270 feet long overall length. I think it was 44 feet wide. And uh, had a speed, overall speed of 16.5 knots. Zapata Discoverer, beautiful ship. I got on that boat and I couldn't believe everything I was seeing. Everything was so well formed. All the wells were large in size, but uh, have, had methods to getting the fish from, the, from the, uh, the net into the wells very easily. They did a nice, nice, nice job of construction and everything. The best, big tonnage, was, I made one trip off of New Zealand. We went down to New Zealand, we got there. Uh, one day uh, we caught uh, 1,800 ton in 10 days. Well, I know why I made the panel. That's when I decided I'm gonna try some, a different size mesh in that back down area. So I had some of this mesh made from four and a quarter, that's the size of the mesh, down to two inch, two inch mesh. I made one full strip, it was 100 fathoms long, and about five fathoms deep. We put it on and went out fishing. And the first set that we made on Dolphin, we backed down the same as we did before. Then we got, as we were backing down, we got to that area where the dolphins were getting entangled. Then I backed down a little bit longer, a little bit more speed. And all the dolphins hit that small mesh and were forced over the top of the, of the floats and gone. So that, that worked out the way I thought it should work out. And that's when they call it the Medina Panel. And the U.S. government stated that any vessel that offloads tuna uh, associated with dolphin has to have the Medina Panel in their net or, we, or they cannot offload it in the United States. I liked the work that I, I was very, uh, always wanted to know everything. Any, whenever I worked on something, like I was captain of the boat, I wanted to know everything that you had to know to run a vessel. I was an excellent navigator. I could over help overhaul the engines if I want to. Uh, there was nothing net. I designed my own net. I helped build my own net. I liked it. I liked what I did, and that was my life's work. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it until the day I retired. Deixem passar esta linda brincadeira que a gente vamos bailar. Good evening. Thank you very much for this award tonight. I am honored to, to be recognized by the Portuguese Historical Center. All of us here that grew up in Point Loma, so many of us 
were from Portuguese tuna fishing families. Our dad was a commercial fisherman. He started out at a young age, worked his way up, had, had his own boats, so forth. So we grew up in a fishing family. I was lucky at the age of 12 to go out with him on my first trip, the Sun Venus, and then I went out and when I was 16 on the Sun Glow with uh, our dad's protege, a fellow named Joaquin Porti Silvera. In 1984, I formed a company called Clipper Oil. Lucky enough to get a shell distributorship and set up operations in American Samoa. Luckily, our business has grown and we've now moved on from a one shop American Samoa facility to fueling boats on a worldwide basis. I'm very happy and proud of the growth they've made over these years. We've basically changed from a business that was probably 95% dependent on fishing vessels, both U.S. and foreign, to an operation now that does in excess of 50 million gallons a year. Our business and the success we've been able to have is a result of a lot of support great support over the years from the tuna fishing industry. Our dad and Lou had many customers at the Tuna Clip Marine Dock. We've been fortunate to have many of those same customers at Clip Oil. And again, I'd like to say thank you to everyone for all the support you've given us throughout the years because we could not have attained any type of success without your support. You know, every year, look forward to the Christmas season because we have a couple of parties that uh, I help organize. It's a way for all of us to get together, reminisce about old times, and tell a lot of stories, and uh, really look forward to that party. And we've had a really good turnout over the years from guys from St. Agnes and Cabrillo, a lot of people from uh, Little Italy. Treasure my friendship with my childhood friends. It means more to me than anything in the world. We probably have about 200 people that come to this every year now, and um, a lot of us cook. We probably have a, and help cut fish and so forth. We probably have a crew of about 20, 20 helpers. We have a great time. We serve a lot of, almost all seafood. Of course, we have linguisa. Probably about the only non-seafood item we have, and uh, I'm proud to say I'm Portuguese, and I again am honored to receive this award tonight, and I thank all of you for your kind consideration. Thank you. My family and I would like to thank the Portuguese Historical Society for giving us this award this evening. It's nice to, to be able to be part of a special group and we're honored to have even been considered. So thank you very much for acknowledging us. So our family obviously is here because of two men. Um, the first being my dad, Joseph Da Silva, otherwise known as Smoothie and my grandfather, my mother's dad, Oscar Rodriguez. And I say that because they both came over here from Portugal, from Poldemod, and his family was, was all part of the fishing industry. When it comes to fishing, I, I'm third generation fisherman in our family. I started fishing, I think it was in 1978. With, with, on, first, first year was on the Aquarius, and then I went to the sea encounters. My dad didn't want, want me to work for him. You know, we still have our Sea Encounter boat. It still is a huge part of our family. We just always grew up in the small Portuguese community with a lot of tradition and a lot of family pride and pride in our culture and our, and our heritage. And obviously one of the bigger ones that 
stands out in our family was giving the Festa in 1992. That's where we really, as a family, got involved and were really um, at the hall and uh, meeting more people. And then years later, after my father passed, the family gave the Festa for a second time and we got to, to help mom. With the second time she put the Festa on, you know, we both really enjoyed seeing it. And so we just feel, you know, it's, it's really neat to be able to teach our kids this because it's really neat to have been taught by our parents. Thank you again for this award and this honor tonight. We are proud to be able to call ourselves Portuguese and to really be, you know, part of the next generation, having our own kids and our own grandkids part of the community and, and we look forward to continuing these traditions for our family for many, many more years. As we conclude our night, we would like to again thank everyone for coming and thank you for supporting the Portuguese Historical Center. Helps to keep our community and our traditions alive. Have a great night and thank you.